Buster! Daddy Bus and Buster are visiting the river today. What are they going to get up to? Oh, boats! How exciting! Buster wants to ride the boat. But wait, not yet. First, Daddy Bus wants to teach Buster how to tie a strong knot so the boat doesn't float away. Daddy Bus has tied a great knot. Now it's Buster's turn. Aw, nearly there. That's okay, Buster. Tying strong knots is really hard. Daddy Bus is going to show Buster how to do it again. But Buster isn't very interested in tying knots. Hmm, the boat is right there. And Daddy is concentrating very hard on his knot. Buster's off! This is much more fun! Oh no! The boat wasn't tied to the dock! The river is carrying Buster away! Buster's trying to paddle back, but he can't seem to steer! Daddy Bus to the rescue! Uh-oh! That boat has a leak! He needs to find another way! Buster is floating even further down the river! Careful, Daddy Bus! What's Buster going to do? Oh! There's a bridge! Buster is grabbing on! Phew! Oh no! The pole broke off! Daddy Bus just missed him! Look out! Uh-oh! Buster has spotted rocks ahead! But he can use the wooden pole to steer away from them! It's working! Good thinking, Buster! Oh no! The pole snapped! And look! A waterfall ahead! What's Daddy pointing to? A rope! Perfect! The waterfall isn't far away now! You can do it! Go, Buster! Nice throw! Daddy Bus is pulling Buster back to the shore! Nearly there! Just a bit further! Phew! Back on dry land! Now Buster and Daddy are fishing instead! That's much more relaxing! Look! It's Jessie the Jeep! She's got a cake! Wow, that looks tasty! But here comes Bandit Bus! He looks mischievous! Oh no! He's eating Jessie's cake! That's not fair at all! Poor Jessie! There's Buster the Bus! And there's Bandit, driving too fast! Look! Buster's gone to play with Scout! He's given her a soccer ball as a present! Look at Scout go! Look at that! Diggly is building a colorful tower! But here comes Bandit! I wonder what that awful bully is up to! <laughs> oh no! He's knocked over Diggly's tower! Bandit is a menace! Uh-oh! He's seen Scout's ball! Bandit is stealing the ball for himself! What a bully! Buster wants to do something! Poor Scout is really upset! Buster wants to help his friend. He's going to stand up to Bandit and get him to give the ball back. I don't think Bandit will listen to Buster. He's going to bully him instead. It's not fair. But wait, Jesse is standing beside Buster. Scout is here to help too. They're all fed up with Bandit being a bully. There's Otis, the police car, enjoying an ice cream. Oops, Bandit has backed into Otis. Otis looks mad. Serves Bandit right, being mean to everyone. Now Buster, Scout, and Jesse can play soccer in peace. 
You're looking very cheerful today, Buster. What's that you've seen? Oh, wow! A kitten! It's adorable! Careful, Buster. You're really big, and the cat is really small. Oh, dear. I think you scared her, Buster. I wonder where she's going. You're too big to go under the fence, Buster. You'll have to go around. Where's that kitten gotten to? Uh-oh! She's stuck up in that tall tree. You've got to rescue her, Buster. A trampoline? What a good idea! That'll be a nice soft landing for the kitten. Bounce? Oh no! The kitten bounced right the way back up into the tree. Let's try something else. A net? Good idea, Buster. Careful now. Gently. Gently. Oh, look, a bee. Stay still, Buster. I don't think he means any harm, but... Oh, dear. The net is broken, too. Back to the drawing board. Hold on. I think Buster has another idea. Of course! Buster's brought Ashley the fire truck. She'll be able to reach the kitten with her tall ladder. There we go. The kitten will be safe now. Oh no, I think the kitten is too scared to come down the ladder. I wonder what Buster has planned. Oh yes! The kitten's ball of wool. She'll come down to play with that. Look how happy the kitten is. Here she comes down the ladder. There, safe and sound. Nice work, Buster. It's Buster. Time to wake up. <laughs> it's a bright new day. <laughs> Look, Mommy has made Buster's breakfast already. Jam on toast. Buster's favorite. Ouch! Buster drove over that toy. It's okay. Mommy can kiss it all better. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh. Now Buster can go out and play soccer. Ooh. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> now Buster is playing in the park with Scout. Nice one, Scout. <laughs> but oh no! The soccer ball has gotten stuck in the tree. <gasps> But look! Mommy has knocked the ball free again! <laughs> well done, Mommy! Now they can keep on playing! <laughs> What's this? Mommy and Buster are painting a picture! It's so much fun to paint together! Look! The sun has a face! <laughs> but oh dear! Buster is sleepy! It's been such a busy day. Time for Buster to go to bed now. First, Mommy reads Buster a bedtime story. Aw, good night, Buster. It was so much fun spending the day playing with Mommy. She really is the best. <laughs> Look, it's Buster the Bus on a bright new morning. What's he going to do today? What's that? Seeds? Whoa! Buster's going to grow some fruits and vegetables. Buster heads to his vegetable patch and takes a look at the instructions. First, he needs to dig a hole to plant the seeds in. Buster starts digging. Oh dear, this could take a long time. But look, there's Diggly. He'll be able to help. Diggly's the best at digging. And he's always happy to help his friend. Diggly will have holes for the seeds dug in no time. There, no problem. Now Buster plants all the seeds in the holes and looks at step two. Sunshine. The seeds need sunshine to grow. But uh-oh, it's a cloudy day. But look, there's Monty, the hot air balloon. Maybe he can help. There, 
here! Monty's pushed the cloud away. Now the seeds are growing! Now, step three. Rain? Looks like another job for Monty. He's hopping on the cloud and… Perfect! Now they just have to wait for the seeds to grow. Many days pass. The plants get bigger. Then one bright morning, Buster checks his calendar. Today is the day! <laughs> Look! Red tomatoes, orange pumpkins, yellow sweet corn, green beans, and purple eggplants. Well done, Buster! Look at all the colorful fruit and vegetables he's grown. Now he can share them with- Look! Buster has arrived early for school today. There's Scout and Diggly. Whoops! Buster slipped on some oil. Oh dear, the blackboard is wrecked. Scout flipped too. Phew! Oh no, the clock is broken too. What a mess. And here comes the teacher. They'll need to clean everything up really quick. But the board is too heavy for Scout. And Diggly can't pick up the letters. Buster tries to fix the clock, but there are so many pieces. I think Buster has a plan. They can swap jobs. Scout can collect up all the letters, then Diggly and Buster can lift the blackboard together. Scout knows her ABCs. She can put the letters back. Now for the clock. Diggly can fix that. He loves fixing machines. There, all done. Just in time, here comes the teacher. Well? <laughs> Everything looks normal. Uh, apart from that letter. And the time isn't right. And the number. One, two, three, four. Good as new. Buster looks so excited. I wonder why. A storybook. Buster wants Mommy to read to him. Buster loves a good fairy tale. Mommy's reading Buster the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. When the bears had gone out, Goldilocks came to the window. She tried their porridge, but the first bowl was too hot. Buster thinks that's very funny. But look at the time. Mommy can't read all day. Buster's upset. He wants to know what happens next in the story. But Mommy knows what to do. Maybe Grandpa can read to Buster? Grandpa is out watering the plants. But Buster wants him to read more of the storybook. Yes, Grandpa can read to him for a bit. He loves stories of great adventures and brave heroes. What's happening now? Goldilocks sits on a chair that's too small, and it breaks. How funny. Buster loves this story. But what's this? Mommy says it's time for dinner. The rest of the story will have to wait. Buster has some nice fish fingers and vegetables for dinner. But he's eating them all really fast. He wants to get back to the story as soon as possible. Hmm. Mommy and Grandpa are still eating. They can't read to him right now. Buster really wants to know what happens next. Look! He's trying to read it himself. He's not very good at reading, but he's trying really hard. Wow, he's getting it. Mommy and Grandpa are so proud of him. Good job, Buster. But oh dear, he's getting sleepy too. Mommy's reading the book to Buster as a bedtime story. Now Goldilocks is asleep in the bear's bed. Oh look, Buster has fallen asleep. <gasps> Aw, he'd had such a busy day, he couldn't stay awake for the end. Good. Hey there, Buster. Looks like a hot day out in the desert. 
Whoa, look at that ahead. A big mountain with smoke rising from the top. What was that? It's Frida the sports car. She's speeding off toward the smoky mountain. I think she wants to race. Buster and Rita are speeding across the desert together. Rita is faster. Go on, Buster, you can do it. Buster is using that ramp to jump after Rita. Phew, that was a fun race to the top. But look, what's that? Hot molten lava? I think this is a volcano. It could erupt at any moment. Uh-oh, Buster, careful of that rock. Oh no, it's fallen into the lava. Phew, nothing happened. Oh no! I think the volcano is erupting. Quick, guys, get out of there. Oh no, there are fireballs shooting out of the volcano. Look out, they'll be really hot. Oh no, Rita is stuck in the sand. Buster is being brave and going to help his new friend. Great job, Buster. Now quickly, drive away. Faster! Faster! Phew! That was a close one! Here's Ashley the fire truck. She doesn't look pleased. She's going to have to put out all the fire. Buster and Rita aren't saying anything. They didn't mean to set the volcano off. That was close, but Buster made a brand new friend along the way. Bye, Buster. It's a bright, sunny day, and Buster wants to play outside. But what's this? Huh? He's left his toys all over the floor. Buster knows he should clean them up, but he really wants to go and play. Whoa! Buster's cleaning up all the toys super fast. But not very well. Oh dear, he's knocked that glass over. And now his mopping up has left water everywhere. Soon, Buster is outside playing. What was that? Mommy slipped on all the water. Oh dear, the room is still such a mess. Buster feels really bad for not cleaning up well. But he can make it all better. He just has to clean up properly and take his time to do it right. Mommy and Buster can do it together, like it's a game. <laughs> Chores are so much easier to do when you find the fun in them. And they're so much faster if you work together. There, Buster is even cleaning up that drink he spilled. Perfect! The room is all tidy at last. Now Buster and Mommy can go and play ball together. Hooray! Look, it's Buster the bus. But now he's a fish in the big blue sea. And look, there's a tiny baby shark. That crab is snapping his claws just like the baby shark's jaws. Buster wants to play with them. And look there, that must be the mommy shark. She's dancing with the crab. She looks like she's having so much fun. What fun! Look, it's Sham the shark. He must be the daddy. Now Sham is dancing excitedly with the crab. Buster is happy to see his old friend. Who's this? Glasses? Wrinkles? This must be Grandma Shark. <laughs> She's having a great time dancing with the crab too. <laughs> Look at her go. And this happy shark with a mustache? That must be Grandpa Shark. <laughs> He's having such a good time. Now Buster has met the whole shark family. Now Sham and Buster are playing together in the ocean. 
they're swimming through the coral and then up towards the surface. Aw, oh, but the poor little crab can't keep up. Look at Buster and Sham jump gracefully out of the water. But the little crab is having a tough time. Up Buster jumps. Whoa! Watch out, little crab! Aw, Buster wants to play together. Now all three of them can swim together. Oh dear, Buster looks all worn out. Sham and the crab are saying goodbye. They've had such a nice day. Oh, it was all a dream. Or was it? There's the little crab again. Buster is heading off to school. Wait a second, Buster. Don't forget, it's school photo day today. So you need an extra polish. <laughs> Bye, Mommy Bus. Look! Terry Tractor is here to take the school photos. Bandit and Ash are up first. Smile! Buster's turn next. And he wants to get an action shot. Whoops! Buster slipped! Watch out, Scout! Oh no, what's wrong? The teacher is handing Buster a mirror. <gasps> Buster has knocked out his wobbly front tooth. Oh no! And now Buster is too embarrassed to have his photo taken. It's okay, Buster. You can have it taken another day. Buster is feeling really sad about missing out on the photos. But Mommy Bus is here to pick him up. And she's taking him to the dentist to get his tooth looked at. Hooray! Buster is a little bit nervous. Don't worry, Buster. Amber the ambulance is here to take a look at that tooth for you. It's time to sit in the special dentist chair. Wow, that looks like so much fun! And now it's time to check that tooth. Don't worry, Buster. There's nothing to be scared of. First, Amber is looking at the tooth with a little mirror. Open wide, Buster. Say, ah! Uh. And what's that? Amber's going to play Buster a video. It's another bus, just like Buster. <laughs> and his tooth has fallen out. But don't worry, another one will grow in its place. He might be missing a tooth for now, but soon he'll have a brand new one. So there's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Buster now feels much better. Thanks, Amber. <laughs> And now he's going back to school to get his photo taken. <laughs> Gather in, Buster. Yeah. Say cheese. <laughs> Buster and Diggly are having so much fun playing with that remote-controlled car. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> Look at it go. Look, there's Mommy. She's coming to tell them lunch is ready. And she's reminding Buster to put his toys away. Buster is putting the controller away, but look, the car is still outside. Now Buster and Diggly are back to carry on playing. But, oh no, they can't see the toy car anywhere. Where could it be? Could it be in the toy box? No. Maybe it's in the dustbin. No. Maybe it's buried under the autumn leaves. It must be here somewhere. Wait, I think Buster has an idea. If they use the control, listen. The car's engine. 
Where's the noise coming from? <laughs> Under that pile of leaves? Hooray! They found the toy car! But wait! Now the controller is missing! Where did it go? Oh, there it is! Well spotted, Buster! Now Diggly and Buster can have fun playing with their remote-controlled car again! But this time, they'll remember to put their toys back in the toy box when they're finished with them! Good job! It's time for the annual nature race, which Daddy Bus has organized! This is going to be so much fun! Ash and Buster are going to work together! They need to race through the woods as fast as they can! And the first one back gets the shiny trophy! Get set! Go, go, go! Bandit has overtaken Buster and Ash! He really wants to win! What is he up to? <gasps> He's changed the sign! So Buster and Ash are going the wrong way! Oh no! <laughs> huh? There's no more path! This can't be right! And what's that? A huge tire print! Ash thinks it must be a monster! <laughs> nope, don't worry, Ash. Monsters aren't real. Uh-oh, I think they're lost. But they need to keep going. They're slowing down. Oh, dear. They're stuck in the mud. What are they going to do? <gasps> what is that? It sounds like a monster! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Don't worry! It's just a monster truck! And they're very friendly! She's pulling Ash out of the mud! Wow, she's strong! And now it's Buster's turn! <laughs> this monster truck is called Mira! She's lost too! Just like them! Buster says they can work as a team! There's Naughty Bandit! He's almost at the finish line! But look! Buster and his friends are ahead! They ended up taking a shortcut! <laughs> Hooray! Mira won the race! But she couldn't have done it without her new friends! And she's won the trophy! Yippee! But Mira feels sad for Bandit being on his own! She knows what that feels like! Bandit feels bad for cheating in the big race! Don't worry, Bandit! There's no need to cheat when you have friends by your side! And it's always fun to make new friends! Buster and his friends are having a great time camping in the woods with Daddy Bus! Daddy is making some spooky shadows as he tells them a ghost story! Whoa! That monster is super scary! Phew! Don't worry, gang! It's only Daddy Bus! Looks like it's time for bed. Good night, everyone. Daddy Bus is off to collect some more firewood for the fire. Good night, Buster. Hang on. What is Buster up to? He's turning the firewood into scary antlers. Scout is fast asleep. Yikes! What is that? <gasps> it's Buster's scary shadow! Poor Scout! <laughs> Don't worry, Scout. It was only Buster. <laughs> now it's Bandit's turn to be pranked. Aha! 
The spooky shadow scared him as well. Looks like Buster is getting sleepy. But Bandit and Scout have a plan. Buster is sleeping peacefully. But there's a scary monster! And another one! Go, Buster, go! That served Buster right. Great job, gang. What is that? Oh no, it's a real spooky monster. Phew, it was just Daddy Bus carrying back more firewood. That's enough scaring for one evening. All that joking around has made them very tired. I wonder what Buster's going to learn at school today. Oh, a volcano. Wow. They're going to do an experiment. The teacher is showing them what to do. First, a drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Wow, it looks like an erupting volcano. Isn't that amazing? Everyone is so excited. They're going to do the experiment all by themselves. What a mess. It looks like Bandit didn't do it right. Oh no, Scouts didn't go right either. Maybe Buster? Buster has made just as much mess as the others. Why isn't it working? Can Ash get it right? Buster is going to check. Ash is still putting ingredients in. Whoa! It worked! Nice work, Ash! But how did Ash get it right when everyone else's went wrong? Oh, he followed the instructions on the board. What a good idea. The teacher is proud of Ash. Now the others are going to try again. But first, they check what they need to do. One drop of white powder. Then three drops of food coloring. Then some vinegar to make it all bubbly. Hooray! It's working! The volcanoes are all bubbling over. Don't they look great? Good job, everyone! It's amazing what you can do when you follow the instructions. The teacher is so proud of everyone. Buster and his friends are back at school. They are telling each other what they got up to over the summer. Buster is so excited to tell everyone about his shark tooth. But first, Scout is telling everyone what she got up to over the summer. This summer, I went surfing for the first time ever. It was so cool. There was this one wave I saw that was absolutely massive but I still got to surf it without falling off. And I went so fast! Scoot, scoot! Wow, Scout told such a cool story. Huh. What's wrong with Buster? Mm. Oh, he thinks his shark tooth story won't be interesting enough after Scout's story. Hmm. Ah. Buster is going to tell everyone how he got the tooth. This summer, I went exploring in the deep, dark wood. It's full of animals and monsters, but I wasn't afraid one bit. <laughs> oh. Huh? But then... Huh? I came face to face with... a dinosaur! But he had a sore tooth. So I took it out for him to make him feel all better. Wait a second. That's not right. Dinosaurs are extinct. Oh, dear. Bandit thinks Buster isn't telling the truth. He couldn't really meet a dinosaur, could he? Oh. All right. It's not really a dinosaur tooth. It's a shark tooth. I thought that wouldn't be interesting enough. But Buster, sharks are way cooler than dinosaurs. Go, Buster, tell us the story. <laughs> this summer, I was at the beach, but then I saw... Mm. No. Yes, oh. pirates are even cooler than sharks. <laughs> Yarmahar 
Pretty! Hmm. Okay. The parrot and me, we found a shark, but he had a sore tooth. So we decided to take the tooth out with a little help from a friendly little bee. We took out the sore tooth and then they played catch with it. Gotcha! <laughs> and they played on the beach all day long. What a great story! It's so much fun to use your imagination, especially with friends. Buster and Grandpa are going shopping at the supermarket. Here's the shopping list. Carrots, sweet corn, and a new soccer ball. Buster can't wait to get the new soccer ball. But Grandpa reminds him they need to get everything else on the list first. Starting with the carrots. Buster races off. There they are. Nice work, Buster. Next, sweet corn. He's found them. Whoops. Careful, Buster. All the tins might fall over. Phew. Great save, Grandpa. Next, yay, the soccer ball. Buster is zooming ahead to find the soccer ball. But wait, Grandpa's been left behind. He can't find him. Oh no, Buster and Grandpa can't see each other. Buster is searching and searching, but it's no good. Poor Buster is lost and getting worried. Look, it's Ash and his mommy. They can help him get back to Grandpa. At last, Buster is back safely with Grandpa. He knows he shouldn't have run so far ahead. He's sorry, but Grandpa forgives him. And here's the new soccer ball. Hooray! Buster is having so much fun playing on his drum kit. Oops, there goes a drumstick. It's rolling over to Mommy. Hmm, what's Mommy doing? Oh, she's clearing out all Buster's old toys, the ones he doesn't use anymore. I wonder what's inside. Look, Buster's baby drum. He remembers that. Mommy is going to recycle it so someone else can enjoy it. Buster is sad. But he has a bigger, better drum kit now. But Buster wants to keep his little drum. He doesn't like to let go. Here's Scout with her tambourine. She's come round to play. Hooray! Time to make some music. Buster and Scout are ready to play. And here's Ash, too. He's come to listen. Now Buster and Scout have an audience. They're ready to rock. One, two, three, four. Nice. Buster and Scout are really grooving. Nice work, guys. Scout shakes the tambourine. Buster bangs the drum. Oh, he's trying to play his little drum at the same time. That doesn't work so well. He's trying to do too much at once. Oops. Aw, Ash wants to join in, but he doesn't have an instrument. And Buster has one too many. What's he going to do? Buster is giving his little drum to Ash to play. Now Ash can play along, and all three of them can have fun. Ready? One, two, three, four. There. That sounds even better than before! <laughs> At the end of the day, Ash is going to give the drum back. But Buster knows he doesn't need two drums. He wants Ash to keep it. Ash is so happy! 